Fort Lauderdale Mayor Jack Seiler is coming under fire from his own party for having a controversial guest at his upcoming annual prayer breakfast. Jim Daly is president of Focus on the Family, a known anti-gay organization that has been a proponent of controversial conversion therapy for homosexuals. Investigator Bob Norman reports. What I'm trying to say basically, Mr. Mayor, and you're interrupting me and taking oh, from the two minutes. You you're not on topic. At this I, week's I commission meeting, you. Mayor Jack Seiler took I, issue with LGBT activist Michael Rayner and things got right. heated. Right. His character well exceeds the character of a man you're standing up to at the prayer breakfast and who won't reject, who has vilified the LGBT community. Seiler was rankled when Rayner brought up the fact that the head of the group Focus on the Family, Jim Daly, was the keynote speaker for the mayor's prayer breakfast. It's sad that the mayor just won't admit to how harmful this is and, and how offensive it is to the gay community. Focus on the Family has a history of anti-gay policies, including stances against gay marriage and adoption and for controversial conversion therapy. It is so damaging. They have literally uh, talked about how we are a threat to society. Rayner is far from alone. The Broward Democratic Party called the breakfast extremely troubling, saying fellow Democrat Seiler's willingness to share the stage with this figure is a disappointing development, which calls into question his belief and his value system. Wilton Manors Commissioner Julie Carson, Broward County's first lesbian elected to public office, said it was unacceptable. If this had been Jack Seiler's private prayer breakfast, you and I wouldn't be having this conversation. But this is the mayor's prayer breakfast, creating hate and, and ideas that uh, cripple so many people is just not good for us. In Fort Lauderdale, Bob Norman, Local 10 News. Seiler was out of town today, but told Bob in a statement he defended the prayer breakfast, saying he didn't choose the speaker and that it would be, quote, rude and disrespectful for him to cancel his speech.